Judges chapter 1 chronicles the continuation of Israel's campaign to capture the land promised to them by God. As it turns out, however, their campaign hasn't all been good. The end of the chapter lists down the failed progress of the various tribes of Israel. These tribes in particular are noted for their failure to subdue their enemies completely. However, the first two tribes mentioned, Judah and Simeon, are highlighted as being standouts for their achievement in successfully taking the land that God had for them. Notice that the strings of victories Judah and Simeon enjoyed had much to do with the fact that Judah and Simeon leaned on each other to win their battles. This reminds me of a recent story in the running world. A runner from Kenya named Elliot Kipchoge has been the focal point of the running world in recent years for his feat in marathon running. No pun intended. The man ran one marathon so fast that each mile, he, each mile he ran was calculated at being done at an average of 4 minutes and 37 seconds for over 26 miles. No doubt Elliot is well deserving of his success, but he didn't get there on his own. Running by his side are marathon pacers. These marathon pacers help to make sure that Elliot did not use too much physical energy in the beginning of the race, while also making sure that he had enough mental energy to finish the race to the end. This story illustrates a spiritual lesson for us. Judas was, was helped in winning his battle because he had Simeon by his side. So for the men tuned into this devotion, do you have a brother to help keep you accountable and to keep you fighting? Women, do you have a sister or two to lean on in times of difficulty? Ecclesiastes 4 chapter 12 says, And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. I encourage you to find a fellowship to belong to to help you in your battles.